and we're going to do challenge number two with a little bit of extra complexity. The way we're going to add extra complexity is by putting in some parameters. So in here, I'm going to type A, N, D, and then Y underscore zero. And now you can see here, I have four parameters. I'm going to hit all. And now these are four parameters that we can adjust. So I'm going to write equations based on these parameters. So we'll do some line Y equals A, X plus N. And then we'll do another line Y equals D, X plus Y sub zero. And so now you can see what happens is I move these, it changes our lines that we created. And these can be played. So I can hit play and it'll just start moving our lines all around. So the reason this is interesting is the location of the line when I hit launch is what matters. I'll show you what I mean. If I hit play on this and it's going up and down, whenever I hit launch, is where that line is. You can see the marble stop up higher. That's because that's where the line was when I hit launch. I'll show you that one more time. So the line is up here. And then if I hit launch now, it stops where the line was when I hit launch. Or if it's going up, I'll hit launch in three, two, one, launch. And you can see it went right through the line, but it stopped there. So by doing this method, we can actually steer our balls, but we can avoid seeing how we're doing it. So let's try this. So I got to hit launch right at the exact correct moment. Nope, failed. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, I missed it again. Nope. Nope, that one was terrible. Even though I had some problems, I want to make it a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to add one more equation. I want to put in a circle. So I'll say x squared plus y squared equals one. And then we'll do less than so we can shade inside of the circle. And now I want this circle to move around. Introduce two more variables. We'll say minus h and minus k. And we'll add h and k. I want this circle to go as far left as negative three and as far right as 10. So we'll change the values of h to negative three to 10. And then we'll change the values of k from negative one up to eight. So now when I hit play here, it's bouncing around like a screensaver on a TV. And that's going to be another thing I got to watch out for. So is this possible? Can I get this? Uh, nope. No. Shoot. Yeah, I got this. Oh, <sighs> hit the ball. Yes, there it is. Got it. All right. Incredible. Oh, yes, there it is. Got it. Incredible.